Seeing Joel Parkinson, he's in that spot just ahead of Nat as he's sitting number 12 in the world. As we just saw there, Joel accomplished his world title back in 2012. And he sort of admitted to kind of letting go of that ultra competitive nature he had following that. He'd been so switched on for so many years. He'd been in so many world title campaigns. He finally just enjoyed it for a couple seasons. Once he's outside of a top 10 and you're a former world champ, everyone starts asking what your intentions are. And he reminded everyone he wants to get back in that top five picture. And with surfing like this, he's heading the right direction. Always smooth and stylish. Parko kicked this heat off with a 7.67 piece. Exactly what he wanted to do each and every time he comes out to J-Bay. He wants that first wave. He wants it to be into the good, the excellent range. And he's done that. Great wave choice. I mean, he knows what waves he wants out here in all types of conditions. I mean, he's won in onshore. He's won in howling offshore. Uh, he's won in glassy conditions. So uh, he knows what the waves look like that he needs. Even in this changing of the shorter interval, he, he sees this wave so well uh, that it makes it almost easy for him. You know, Banting's not surfing bad, though. You know, I think that he's just been hindered slightly by uh, the rhythm of the heat, not getting those longer, stretched-out walls. But he's surfing amazing. Now seeing Parko's form again, he can take off deeper on this point than anybody on tour and always seems to make sections. I'm loving this unpredictable nature of every single decision off the top. Multiple floats into blow tails. Seven, six, seven, seven, five so far in his top two. Yeah, it's good stuff. I mean, you want to have 15 points, 16 points generally, but, you know, when conditions aren't absolutely perfect, you know, 15 points will do. And that's where he's sitting at right now, 15.17.